So here is the Titanium Violet S24 Ultra. Now, you guys know I love my purple, and uh, the phone came in purple, so of course I had to try and get one for myself and see exactly how this thing compares to my S22. Um, from what I hear, it, it's actually a huge upgrade, at least via the software. Um, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the phone, look all around it, and see what exactly is in the box. Not much, I'm pretty sure, but it, it just might surprise us. Not everybody scream, not respect to the ex. Not respect given. Okay, so as always, around the box, you have your codes, Samsung, Galaxy S24, and on the back you have stuff that no one ever reads, I'm, I'm sure there's very relevant information there, but no one has time for that. And on the front, the color of the phone, and the, the name of the phone that you got, with the uh, special editions. The picture is like a, if you re remember the bespoke devices from the S22 and the S23 line. And the box, the phone has three separate colors on it. One for each of the special online ed editions. I did think that was cool. This just has the purple because it is the regular purple, but you know, that distinction was cool that they made it. Now let's open up the box. And there it is. You know, in camera, it looks a lot brighter than it is looking at it directly without the, the, the lens. Oh, it, it doesn't even come out that easy. It's kind of really in there. Wow. There it is. It's really flush in there. One, one say tight. Well, there is the device. The titanium Violet S22 Ultra. Let's take off the screen covering that they have. And there it is. Now, if you watch my other video, you, you know this is not the first time I've seen this device. I did see it in store of course it was connected to a electronic security tether but it was still more than enough to get a good idea of how the phone feels and looks and its weight and i, and I know they say that uh the titanium did it doesn't really take away much weight from like uh the, the likes of the s22 ultra and the s23 ultra but it does feel lighter in the hand at least to me and this purple does look nice well looking ar around the phone we have our S Pen at the bottom uh, USB-C I think this is new uh, speaker grill over here uh, we have our uh, SIM tray our antennas Power, volume up and down, more antennas. Uh, speakers up top. It's not like the speaker grill that other de de devices have. It's two uh, small holes. I hope that helps to send the sound out better. Maybe for a better directional sound. And we have uh, another antenna here. And that's it. Can't say that the these devices have changed much in the past few years um, this one does have a slim display completely flat as opposed to the slight curve of the previous generations some might like that some might not some people prefer the curve as to the futuristic look of these devices but it's fine here uh, here we have the S Pen now 
Esmin is a regular gray color. I thought perhaps it would match the titanium, but no, not even. Perhaps the online colors have the Esmin to match the color way of the of the back of the device. I, I'm not sure. I know with my S24, it, it had a blue S Pen, but my S23 had a gen generic black S Pen, even though the back was a very vibrant green. So maybe it's just a thing that they do. Um, let's turn on this guy and see what we have. So I'm here trying to set up the S24 and I now have the choice to pull from any of my other Android phones that I have available to me right now. This is three of them, my Duo, my Wing, and my S22. Choice is always a good thing. Though it came at the expense of what camera can I use to actually record the setup, but all of the devices that I use want to be the device to set up from. So now with the quick QR code, the 24 is going to pull all the data from the 22 and pretty much be a clone of my older device. Everything transferred over so easily. I was surprised from transferring the data from my S22 to the S24, even the watch information. I was afraid I'd have to restart the watch, reset, uh, and then reassign the watch to the 24. No, it really just scanned around, found the watch, and asked me if I wanted to transfer the permissions to this device and with a few uh, bun button presses there it was all right there transferred over and ready to go well I have the device it finally set up at least you know the basics don't have any of the social media media apps uh, signed in as of yet uh, none of my games none of my uh, editing tools yeah, but just looking at the device the uh, screen itself just comparing the two here the 22 Ultra does get points for having a much more pleasing display it, it just looks nice it feels nice the flat uh, display that's the way the phone itself does feels the titanium rails the way it all adds something to the experience of it nothing against my s my s22 nothing at all but the, the slight change that they did add to the 24 does make a difference in the over overall feel in the hand of this device it feels genuinely really good to hold so with that said my name is ng the neon x and liking what i'm seeing with the s24 ultra so far this is what i'm into